everybody. I'm just making sure. I believe I have posted everywhere that is necessary for me to post. Yeah, we're going to do a stream today. I don't know if I'm going to have time on Wednesday this week, which is my normal. You know what? I realize this microphone is really low. Hold on. Let me move this. Let me move my microphone up a bit so that it's a little bit closer to me. There we go. Hopefully that's better. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to have time to stream on Wednesday. Uh, stream today is probably going to be about an hour, maybe a little less because <laughs> I'm waiting for a plumber to get here because I attempted to fix something myself and got to a certain point and something, uh, the thing I was using to try to clean out the shower drain got stuck on something and I can't get it out. And that's the point where I said, okay, you have now crossed the threshold of trying to do something yourself and getting to a point where you don't know how to get out of what you've done. I don't have a problem generally trying to do something myself, but I also don't sit there and pretend that I know how to get out of every situation. Uh, so when I get stuck with something, like I said today, where the, the thing that I'm you the, the little handheld snake that I was attempting to use got stuck in the drain, I said, okay, that's it. Once you get something stuck somewhere, it's time to stop before you break something. Uh, hopefully, what I've, whatever I've done, a the person who's going to be showing up will be able to figure out how to undo. I have a feeling it's just something easy, but since I don't really know whatever, uh, then I, I don't, I don't want to screw around too much. That's kind of my thing is I, I will attempt to do something myself if I feel that I have an understanding of what I'm doing. But if I run into a problem, that's the point at which I say stop. Stop and call somebody who knows what they're doing instead of taking a risk of doing any real type of damage. So that's where we are. So if, if that person, if I get a text from the, I don't think the plumber will be here right at, well, 1 p.m. my time. But sometimes they actually run ahead. In fact, around here, I've had pretty good luck where sometimes the, the people who come to work on things will show up early. So if uh, there's one of two people, we also have somebody coming that's doing the, the normal kind of spraying for spiders, insects, and general that type of thing. So a couple of people showing up today, depending on when they show up, that person also typically doesn't show up until a little later in the day. So, but knowing my luck as it's going so far today, I'm going to get a text or a call from one or the other within 20 minutes, at which case I'll, you know, the stream will be ending prematurely. So just a fair warning that who knows what today is going to look like, but I figured, okay, you know what, let me stream now. And, and because I could uh, use a little bit of stress relief. Not that I'm all that worried about it. It's just one of those things where you sit there and go, okay, you try to do something yourself, you know, because I don't like to be one of those people. I don't, I don't like having to call somebody for everything. That's not great. I like to be able for simple stuff. You know, obviously if some big thing happens, sure. I have no problem calling somebody when it's something major, but as far as I can tell, <laughs> this is literally just my wife and I both have long hair. Now I, my ha long hair is, with age deciding to leave, but it is still long. And I, even though we have a little thing in the drain to catch hair, there's still a bunch of hair that I know for a fact is going down that drain. In fact, I looked because I was curious when the last time we had to call somebody and it was about a year ago that we had to call somebody out to, to, and it ended up being the shower drain. It was not the main line, which it had been for a long time, but we've been lucky with that so far. I shouldn't say that out loud, but we have been. So I thought, Oh, okay, this is, this is no big deal. This is just here. Let me start. Let me start my little thing here this. But I thought, oh, this is easy enough. Let me just pop the little, I don't know what the name for it is, but whatever that thing is that is in the shower, if you have one that lets you switch between a shower and a bath, it switches between the two things. I'm sure there's a plumber name for it. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. But that little thing comes off and that gives you access to the, to the, the pipe. So I had this little handheld thing and I kind of was running, I had a larger one and I kind of put that one in there and sure enough, some hair came out and I figured that's what it was going to be. But it was kind of, yeah, that one seemed like it was a little big for the size of it. So I went to the smaller one and I kind of got that in there and I'm working it around and then it just got stuck. 
And I went, okay, you know, that's, again, that's the sign, stop. When something, when something gets stuck, you know, I, I, I mean, I pulled on it pretty hard, but then I'm like, okay, I doubt this thing can actually damage anything, but I don't know what I'm doing, therefore I need to stop. And so that's, that's where things are. So I thought, okay, let me stream now because the plumber is supposed to be here relatively shortly. So we're, I'm going back to this. This is the, if you remember, this is the, the skull with the tentacles and the blob hat. And the more I looked at it, I, I want to do a version of it that does not, I mean, the blob hat is still there. I did not get rid of it. So it is actually still here. There's the blob. And here is the blob color work. I mean, obviously this is, um, you know what I should do is put this over that. There we go. <laughs> So that's, that's what it looked like before. But I, I want to do a version without the blob involved because I think that might look good on a shirt. Something like this might look good as a simple design for a shirt. So, yeah. Um, so I basically just drew in the rest of the skull, kind of penciled it in really quick, and that's what I'm going to work on. Because that's also, if I have to stop this really quick, it's no big deal. I'll just come back to it. So anyway, that's why I'm streaming now. I was going to stream in a little bit, but good chance that at least one person to work on stuff around the house will be here, if not two. So, figured I'll get my stuff in now on the off chance because I don't think I'm going to have time to stream on Wednesday. So, I don't want to just not stream at all. But, yeah. Oh, boy. <sighs> Interesting day so far. That's what I get. I tried. I tried to do something without having to call somebody. I did. But, uh, didn't work out that well for me. So, let's see. Oh. Wrong layer. Uh, what layer am I on? I think it's which one is it? This one. We gotta do some lines. Actually, I can use the big brush for that. I can use this one and just knock it down. To wait, that's the eraser. Yeah, that's okay. Knock that down to say three. Let's see. Yep, three's the size. Three. Yes, three. <laughs> so we'll see. Yeah, uh, I am gonna turn the bone color off so I can see. There's the. So this way I have some, actually, let me do a new layer. New layer, so that I do have access to the underlying pencil drawings to just kind of, because that'll be the shadow. I do have to fix those other things. So like this, this stuff here's gotta go. It's all cut off anyway. Where is that? Probably because the blob hat was there. Let me see where that is. I don't think it's that, no, it's not that. Uh, let's see, where is that? Why did I not, why is that not in the bone line work? I must have accidentally not put it in there. Oop, okay, there it is. Put that right there. There we go, now we're in the right thing. Bone line work, perfect. Okay, it's this one, yes. So let's go ahead and erase that because this is gonna completely change now. I also have to fix that line there. Yeah, I don't need any of this. So let's take all this out. Here we go. We need to fix the line down here, which is one of the newer lines. It's not that one. It's this one. Take this. Let's clean that up. Yeah. So I just can't believe that thing got stuck. I mean, I can't believe it because that's my luck. When I actually try to do something, that that would happen. But I was just like, really? Okay. You know, I tried. I tried, and I just, uh, I mean, whatever, it's what it is. Listen, it's not something life-threatening, and it's not something urgent. And the shower still works, even with that thing stuck in there, so really, it's not a huge deal. It's just kind of one of those things where it was a matter of me going, okay, try this yourself, and of course, the result was, oh, you screwed it up. So, whatever. Like I said, I'm not going to. I thought I would escape the yawn because it was a little earlier in the day. See, that's what tells me. It's definitely not a tired thing. It's just it's just something that happens now. Unfortunately, I just tend to yawn. Let me do that line shorter. Do more like that. Okay. And we will put some line. Ah, not with that weird angled end, though. There we are. Just put some line work coming up here. And some line work coming up there that'll end up intersecting with that cracked part. So like I said, if you, if I suddenly say, oh, I got to go, that means that somebody's getting here shortly. But I don't, I mean, 
and should be about 45 minutes from now. So I don't anticipate it being much earlier than that. I'll be fine if it is, but I'm not, I'm not, I don't have that expectation. Great if it is, not necessary if it's not. Yeah, so I used the tapered brush, but I didn't use it on the, the ones down there. That's interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, I think I'm going to stick with the smaller, yeah, it's definitely the smaller brush. Probably something like that. Let's just check. Oh, not that small though. Yeah, something like that, but what size? Probably five. Yep, five looks right. Okay. So let me find those de that detail layer, which I think is here. That's it. Let's see. Oh, I just realized the color isn't right there. Oh, let me fix that. Because that's just going to bug me. Where's that color? Right there. I put a little too much of the color bled. There we go. Probably just wasn't paying attention. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, I tell you. Where is that layer? I just, just thought it. There it is. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> Got the thing stuck in there. I can't believe it. I mean, it's just annoying to me. Because, like I said, the whole point was... The reason I did it in the first place was to avoid having to call a plumber. Not that it's... You know, I mean... I don't mind calling a plumber, but... I would like to be able to fix the stupid little stuff myself. You know, it's like, I don't want to be... You never want to be completely dependent on somebody else. So, yeah, if there was a major leak or if some big backup had happened, I would have been faster just because then I kind of know what that is. It's the main line. I can't, I don't know how to fix that. You know, you need a professional, you know, one of these snake things. I'm not going to buy a drain snake just to avoid calling a plumber. So that type of thing, I would have no hesitation. But I was like, oh, well, it just appears to be the shower. And I mean, I could be wrong about that. Maybe it is the main line. So it's possible I'm wrong about that. That is me dis that's me diagnosing it just based on what appears to be a lack of problems somewhere else. But that guy could pop the cap on that thing and say, oh no, your main line is backing up. This would have been everywhere in, in a couple of days. And that, by the way, something else we got lucky on. Normally, normally, our plumbing problems tend to happen on the weekend. And they're usually on Sundays. That's just the way it's historically been when it's typically harder to get somebody sometimes they charge more although we've been lucky we really haven't run into that problem but still you know it it, say, it seems to happen late on a sunday night that has been the historical way this has happened so I, I got lucky there where the issue at least manifested itself on a weekday and the beginning of the week but not on a sunday so it's not as bad that's what i'm saying i'm not really complaining there's just kind of an irony to the fact that I tried to do it myself and it blew up in my face. You know, it just makes me sit there and go, see, you know, I tried to do it myself and, and that just did not work out for me. Um, but whatever. We, we used to have more plumbing problems. I believe the city has fixed something. That's what it seems like. We used to, we used to seem to have to call a plumber a couple of times, at least once a year for the main line and that hasn't happened in a while so I and I know that the city was out looking and fixing some things on the street behind our house so I wonder if there was something bigger going on that finally affected enough people that they had to come out and fix it because that the larger backup problem has not happened in a while and I, we, we haven't changed anything here really because it was it was nothing that we were doing it was just the way that the, the ground was kind of laid so maybe they fixed something on the other end maybe somebody else was running into a problem that would be nice it'd be nice not to have that anymore i'm not going to complain if that is in fact what happened so it's possible i don't know um so we'll see we'll see what happens we'll just have to wait it out and see yeah, I, and the plumber we used to use apparently is just no longer in business or something. I don't know. They seem to have vanished. I mean, we always thought they did good work, so I don't know if something happened or what. I have no idea. Ah, that looks like it's a thinner line, doesn't it? It does. That looks like that is a thinner line than the one I'm using. So, probably is. I would imagine I back down from the... It's probably a three. I'm going to guess it's a three. No, it's not a three. It's a four. It's an odd size. That does look right. Yeah. Unless I used a different brush. 
Hold on, let me see. It's not that. Try five on this. No, that's definitely not that brush. I wonder if it's four. I mean, it could be. The, the, some of the sizes in Procreate. Okay, it's four. It's a four. All right, that's. Well, that one looks truncated. That looks like that one got cut. So we're going to go ahead and take this one. Oh, am I on the wrong layer? I am on the wrong layer. So, which layer is? There it is. Let's go ahead and fix that. Looks like that line got cut. And that's probably because this was covered up by the, the blob hat before. I call it blob hat. I don't know what it is, but I call it blob hat. So let's go ahead and add another layer. We're getting close to layer count too, I think. Uh, but I'll check that. I think it's this. I think this is an 80 layer canvas. Although that 79 is probably not actually accurate. I don't think that's the actual true layer count because I've consolidated a few layers. So I suspect that's going off of just the last number count of the layer, but not the actual the actual number of layers. I don't believe is anywhere near 80. In fact, I can check. Uh, let me go back. Where am I? Here we go. Let's take a quick look. In layers, yeah, I'm only using 70, so I have 11 layers. I'm safe. I got. I mean, it's not a ton of room. I am definitely creeping towards the layer limit, but I I know I can consolidate some more layers too. I don't need to have all these layers separated like this. So we'll we'll look at that. Yeah, see these these were I'm sure. Oh, that's the layer underneath, right? Where's it above? Above. This is because I didn't have lines there. Let's go to 79. And let's start curving these lines up to join up with that. Oh, hey now. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll see what we see. But I'm hoping it's relatively easy. The harder something is with a plumbing job, the more expensive it gets really, really quickly. Which is just the nature of the work. You kind of know that going in. Uh, you know what? I don't like those lines. I don't like the way those lines are. So let's do this. Let's eliminate this line. Don't need that. And let's fix these because these are just not... Again, these were when there was the blob hat was kind of taking up this space. So I didn't need as many of these. But now that the blob hat is gone, sounds like a band name, doesn't it? Now, blob hat, opening up for Uncle Cracker. Um, yeah, that's better. I need to add some more lines in here, too. So let's, let's think about this. Well, I can, I mean, I can do a lot more shading lines now because this is all opened up. So maybe what I'll do is let me jump to the pencil layer, which is here. Isn't it? Oh, no, it's here. Turn the assist off. Don't need that. Let's go back to the sketch pencil. Let's grab this and let's see what we're going to do. So we'll have this curve like that. We're going to bring this up like that. That's going to be a, sh a shading line. We'll do, actually, you know what? No, that's okay, that's good, that's good, we're good. Let's bring this one up like that. And we'll bring this, eh, maybe not like that. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it like this. Gives a little bit more of an interesting kind of curve to it. Yeah, something like that, we'll follow that. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put anything in the center. I think I'll put some lines coming like that have some lines coming like that yeah and then we'll just have some accent lines in a few other places but I think that's gonna work all right let's jump back to was it 79 yeah let's go back to black let's go back to the pencil or a pen I should say that's that yes all right let's fill these in um, so yeah Hopefully this is a relatively simple thing in terms of the actual, I mean, obviously it's like everything else, you know, everything looks like mysticism to a person who doesn't know what they're doing. So I'm sure to the plumber, what's going on here will probably be very simple. I, I have a feeling it is just because there's nothing else really going on. Of course, those are infamous last words, but um, we'll see. But like I said, you know, when you when you don't know what you're doing with something, the, you, the the thing you jump to is, oh, this is something really bad, and a lot of times it isn't. Um, 
can be. I mean, me getting that thing stuck in there could be some huge problem. I really hope it isn't. I mean, honestly, if 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 it is, I'll just say, well, we never use the thing that switches from bathtub to shower. So if it can just stay in there, I mean, it'll look terrible. But as long as it's not going to affect the working of the actual thing, say, all right, well, we'll just leave it. I don't care. At some point, we're going to have a place that anyway. I mean, that shower is not, not permanent. Um, we are going to have to have that replaced because we're redoing the bathroom at some point anyway. But it's not going to be today because we haven't finished all the other stuff that needs to happen. Um, so if that thing needs to just stay in there for a while, then it's fine with me. Annoying, certainly, but not not a huge deal. Again, it's just, it's just kind of incredible. But that's why I'm like, I'm going to draw for a while now because I know how to do that, and that's not going to cause me any problems. Why not? It's a good way to kill the time until the people get here anyway. So, might as well just do it. Let's see. Okay, good. Let's round that one out a little bit. There we are. I'm going to ride the line on that one. Go ahead and take that one out. It's not really necessary anyway. Those are okay. How are we looking over here? Did all right on those. Don't have to erase anything there. So, we got our, got our shading lines in there. Let's do a, a larger accent line, which I think, what did I say, is eight, maybe? I don't know if eight's right. Oh, it is eight, okay. Let's do an accent line right here. Okay, not like that, though. Yep, there we are. A few more in this thing. I don't know if we're going to do anything more with that crack or not. I like the crack in the skull. I specifically like having that there, but I don't know if I need to do much more with it. Okay. I do need to do more tentacles, though, which was the tricky bit last time, but that's all right. I'll figure it out. All right, so let's go ahead and throw the bone color back up. Yeah, and we'll do some shading with that, too. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the crack yet. I may just blacken it in. I may not even really do anything with it. I don't know that I need to. It might just work as is. Let's see. You know, kind of do something like that. You know, give the indication that there was a fracture. But I don't know that I really need to do much with it. I don't I don't know that it's necessary. Not really. I mean, I can always come back to it. So if I just do the black fill for now, if I really feel like it's missing something or I need to put something in there. I mean, I could have some of the tentacles coming out of it, I guess. I don't know if that's really going to look good. But that, again, is something I can do later. For now, we'll just give it a fill so it doesn't look like an empty space. And we'll do that. That's simple enough for now. All right, so we need the darker skull color, which is this one. And that is which one? This one? No, it's this one. This one. Okay, so let's grab the paintbrush. There we are. And certainly we want that to come off of here. Well, do we want it to be darker? Let me think about this. Because I do have a darker color. That could be for the background. Yeah, maybe the background would be better darker. Whoa, jeez. Man, that noise scared the hell out of me. Hello, Action Code X. Give me a mild heart attack. Not your fault. I forgot this thing plays the sound when people are new follows. <laughs> what the noise was i was expecting my computer to crash i was like oh good now it's making a noise before it crashes well at least that's something it's giving me a sign anyway welcome to the stream <laughs> um okay so let's see what we want to do as far as that because i like i want to preserve the eye socket color i think what i'll do is i think i'm going to do something like this yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, so that is where? That's on the second level here. I mean, there's not really levels, but... Okay, yeah, like that. And have that right. Is that how I did it before? Yeah, it is. Okay, okay, okay. So let's just... Oops. Let's bring that nice curve down. So it intersects with that line. There we go. I'm going to shave those lines sharper, too. They're not going to stay like that. And what we'll do is we'll have this come up, I 
think I'll have this. No, nah, I don't like that. I could tell right that's that was going wrong right from the beginning. We're gonna round this out a little more like that. There we are. Yeah, that's all right. That I'm all right with. That other thing I was doing, which I don't know what I was thinking there. Hold on, let me see. So that's coming up. That is coming up. You've got mail, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I care. I don't think that's the. Oh, that's the notification that I got a new follow. Thank you. I, I, I figured it out when the noise went off. Thank you, though. Uh, automated whatever. Thank you, Twitch notification service. Something like that. Yeah, that's good. Uh, maybe I'll make it follow a little bit more the these lines. I'll, I'll fix that. It's not right, but that's okay. All right, yeah, that'll work. And then what we'll do is let's shave off. Which brush am I using? Okay. Let's, let's make that really sharp. Like that, yeah. Okay. That's better. And let's switch to the ink brush. And let's just fill in just slightly just to make these lines a little bit better. Okay, we got those. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Where we'll just kind of round this off. Um, yeah, maybe I'll round it this way. Round it. There we go. Yep, better. Round that off. Let's, let's bleed that so it's a little bit sharper on the line. Okay. Let's knock out stuff where it's sticking out of the top just to clean that and then I'll fill in the rest of that color so that's this yes let's bring it back to a paintbrush and make let me verify I'm on the right layer okay good 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 just making sure let's fill in this stuff there we are and there's gonna be more dark in there so that's okay and I saw what I did there so I'll fix that too yeah so uh, where's that that's the bleed out right there. Let's kill that. All right, let's go here and let's do that. Let's let's clean that up a bit so it goes right into that crack better. Let's do a nice clean version of this. Okay, I'm not gonna worry so much. I mean, I can fill it in. This is gonna be darker in, in a minute, so it really won't matter, but I'll fill it in anyway, just in case, because it's not the worst idea just to have it filled because why not? It's not going to harm a thing when I put the darker layer on it. Tentacles, yeah, I'm going to do those. Okay, so now we've got our darker skull areas. Let me clean this one up a little bit. Let's clean this up. We're going to round that a little more. Bring it down. There we are. Clean that. Got to fix that. Let's grab the old ink brush just level that out there we go okay that looks okay that looks okay so we're good on the color now we need a darker color which will be this color here and that's this yeah. oh that's actually so I shouldn't have filled it in <laughs> that's fine okay so basically for a minute I'm moving this up actually I I guess that really doesn't make a difference, does it? Oh, no, I have to move it up here. Yeah, that made a difference. That's okay. It's just temporary. Yeah. That, I, so I should not have filled this in, but that's okay. You know what? Hold on, let me do it this way. There we are. Uh, just because I'm, I'm going to have to erase it, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. That's just something that happens with these things. Yep, that's good. Yep, we'll keep that. That'll be the darker color that'll go in there. Do the same thing over here. Bring this around. Oh, come on. Bring that up. Seal that in. And we'll erase the other color in a second. Put this behind it. Not a big deal. I, I should have guessed that that was going to happen. But that's not a problem. It just means I have to do a little bit of finishing work. But that's fine. Yeah, I think that color works better. That's fine. All right, so now what I need to do is... Oh, I didn't realize I hadn't filled that in. Wait a minute. 
How does that work? That's wrong. This color is wrong. Get that out of here. Okay. Uh, yeah. So now what I need to do is I have to erase here. Okay. So we'll do this. This is the tricky bit right there. That's the tricky bit. I mean, it really isn't. It, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. It's not a big deal. It just probably means I have to tweak a little bit more again. But honestly, just to keep this lined up. Oof, well, not like that. That's a bad line. Hold on. There we are. Okay, so now what I got to do is max that out. And now I'm moving this back down to where it was, which was here. And wait, did I erase? Hold on a second. Did I erase the wrong thing? Hold on. No, I didn't. Wait, did I erase the wrong thing? No, no, no. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. No, I, I see what I did. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. Got lost in my own layers for a minute, but I'm fine. We're good. All right. Let's do this. Do this and this. And, oh, I missed a little piece of this one, I guess. Yep, I did. A little shard of that. Okay. There we go. That's good. Oh, we're good there. So that's the dark parts. Dark parts are done. Um, let's do some more accent lines, because those are fun. What layer is that? 79. There it is. Let's switch back to black. Let's switch back to, I believe, this pen. Oh, it's not that pen. Er, no, it might have been. Hold on. Yeah, it was that pen. It's this pen. Nope, I'm sorry. This pen. And I just have to back it down to what I say for. Let's back it down. Oh, four, I think. Yep, four's right. Okay, so we're on 79. Let's just do some accent lines here. Just generalized ones to, you know what? I could probably do something around here where I kind of just show that this is a creased break. Probably not really necessary to do any of this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just cause why not? You know what? Should I? Nah, it's fine. That's fine. These lines that I'm doing right now don't necessarily actually make any physical sense, but I don't care. All those things, they don't have to make sense. Not, not everything has to make sense. Like a David Lynch film, it doesn't all have to make sense. It's more of the experience. It's more of the experience of the skull as opposed to actually making the skull make any sense. Of doing a still life. I have to keep reminding myself, I don't do still lives. Still lives? Still lifes? How do you say that? I'm not a still life artist. There, that's how I'll say it. That avoids the problem. Of my terrible grammar. I'm not in the business of, you know, I don't like those, of making still life images. Still life pictures. Still life artwork. There we go. So, it's fine if it doesn't necessarily all go together. Just do, these are just little imperfection lot not that one that one looked like a weird eyebrow okay that one looked worse we'll just leave that one off shall we god okay they're getting they're getting worse there that's better just lines that indicate some some you know features i mean i could leave it blank that would let me put a logo or something there but that's not really what the point of this drawing is all right now okay now uh let's go ahead and merge these so there there we go now we're back to the tentacles. Okay. Here we are. So, new layer. I know I need a taper brush and I need to make it, I'm pretty sure, big. I don't think this is going to be large enough. No. I think I made this thing pretty big. God, I must have maxed it. Yeah, that's the max size. Okay. Okay. Here's the trick having these not look terrible. That looks terrible. See, it's it's the curve. The curve is the trick. If you can get the curve right, you're set. Those two other tentacles are going to have to go, or I'm going to have to form something around them. Well, maybe I can do that. Let me see. 
if I do this, I can leave that one there. Okay, that's not bad. And if I can do something like that. Oof, well, not that, though. Ugh, God, it's just not... I wish it would just... I wish it would just... There's a. There's got to be a way to make a pen where you just start with the same pressure end and then it just does a gradual taper the whole way. There's got to be a way. I just don't know enough about how to make brushes yet. See? Because see that blob in the center? I don't... Right before the tail end, that's what I'd like to avoid, but I can't figure it out. Except for you try to... You know, you try to do this really quick whip on the end and... Okay, that one came out all right. That one came out all right. They usually don't come out that well. That's the trick, is you have to do this really smooth whipping action, which I'm sure there are people who can do it great. I'm not one of them. But I'm gonna try it on this other one too. I wanna see if I can get this one better. So let me erase what's there. Get out of there. Okay, I think that's all of that. Yeah, let's see if I can do this better. Ugh, that was tangled. Yeah, yeah, I don't like it. All right. Um, okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. That's not terrible. It's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. I, I, and this is the, ta the taper pen maxed out, so this is as big as this can get. I, I would like to make it bigger, but let's put it this way. Right now, let's focus on getting the, the stuff we got to get in first, and I can worry about the other things. So let's do another one that you'll barely even see. Actually, let's curve it that way. Ooh, that's a good one. Keep that one. Um, and let's curve that. No, oh, see? Bad curve. I don't know if I want to have it coming out of the crack either. Well, you know what? Let me try this. Let me try. Um, eh. I want more motion to it than that. Ah, but not like that. Not like that. Nope, not like that either. Because you can't go. It doesn't work the other way. Yeah. Well, no, you know what? I don't want it that high up. I think I want to do smaller ones now. I think that's okay. It's a little unbalanced because there's not a corresponding large one on the other side. But honestly, I don't know that that really matters. I think I'm, I think I'm doing that to myself. I don't think it's really necessary. So let's try like a 30. What does a 30 look like? Just out of curiosity. Okay, that's a smaller one. Well, that's as small as that is, huh? Okay. Let's go to 35. Let's see what 35 looks like. Okay, I can do smaller ones, but we'll do those on their own. Oh, let's merge that down. It should be its own layer. Let's do those on their own layer. Stuff like that. Or not like that, though. Okay, that one's, that one's all right. That's all right. That one feels like that should... feels like that needs more of a body to it, doesn't it? That, that tentacle seems to be coming out of nowhere. Which I don't love. Where is that one? Where is it? Is it this one? Yeah, I'm just gonna give this one basically a, a synthetic body. This is a different thing, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna see now that that looks right. That looks how it should look for that one that's on the side. Looks like it should have something coming off so that there's more of a flow to that one. Oh, that one too looks really empty. Is that the same layer? Probably is. No, it's this one. Okay. So, all right, yeah, see, I, I feel like that's, it looks very unfinished. Let's go to full. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's better. Okay, not that. Oof, okay, that's really large. Let's go to 80, maybe. This is, this is, I'm threading a very specific needle here. I want it to look like it's angling to there. All right, that's good. That will do it. I mean, that's, you know. Um, I'll, I have to put in the masking lines too, but that's okay. I can do that. That's that's not an issue. So now let's back down again to what was I on? Thirty, I think. Thirty-five, thirty-five, maybe. Okay. Uh, all right, we're still good on time. Still good on time. Let's. Uh, I just want to put a couple more of a couple more accent tentacles around. <laughs> accent tentacles. Uh, that's hysterical. Oh, maybe not there. Maybe I'll just have them coming off like that. Not like that, though. Ugh! Man. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. So maybe... Whew. Um, It's a little too high, but I, I kind of like the arc. Okay, there we go. Got it, got it, got it. That'll work. That'll work. 
and then um, looking for I'm just looking for like dead space you never want to have too much dead space in between okay so I think I need one more kind of in here it can be a really small one like that that's fine that's doesn't need to be immense just needs to feel like there's more going on to it there okay that's that's pretty crowded on that side so I think that's it I think I got it I think that's as much as I need all right let's go ahead and we'll just erase out the spots that we don't need I know I'm not using a mask I probably should be I can see the colors missing there too but I'll get to that but you know what I don't think I need one I think I'm okay here I am gonna have to mask the um, oh that goes forever I am going to have to mask the tentacle mark lines or whatever those sharp edges those will get those will get masked because that's how I did it and that allows it to be transparent okay so now let's go to the big ones and we'll go ahead and just chop the big ones out of the skull itself okay yeah I think this is gonna look better I think I'm gonna like this more on a shirt than I would have with the you know what should I have that curling over it's not the worst idea even though I really didn't do that anywhere else everywhere else the tentacles are behind the skull but maybe that's a bad thing let me see something yeah that's okay I'm gonna cover see that's that's just a fake that's a fake transition line let me see something because I do like it that it's curling around it so maybe there is a way oh, oops. no max out I basically have to okay wait a minute I have to have it come up and oh man how am I gonna do that I don't know that that's gonna work or maybe well wait 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 maybe I can do it where it does that all right that's not bad if I can get it right so I can cover that cover that little area up that didn't come into the skull though see what I wanted to do was wind like that let me try this almost almost I'm, I mean I'm kind of getting close to what I'm looking for but that arc is just it's got to be right or I'm gonna hate it oh you know what that's it that's it I got it that's cl that's close enough I can live with that so see whoa man okay back that down I appreciate a nice big eraser but man that was a little too much yes yeah, he so that's good I that's all right I can dig that okay okay yeah 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 the intersecting lines are gonna be interesting I gotta figure that part out but I'll figure that part out but that that's pretty good I like I think the balance on the tentacles is okay on there I like it we're gonna have to introduce a mask there and we're gonna have to introduce a mask there each which uses oof, we're right we're close to the layer mark now let's say what are we at 72 of 88 okay not bad not bad. We're still alright. Those are fine. Where are the other ones? I gotta add a mask to this. I gotta add a small taper mask. See, I don't know what size I used here. So I'm gonna guess 15. I don't really know. Let's see. That might be right. That might actually be right. No, well, relatively. See, this is this is tricky. So I gotta do that just right. See there, okay. No, it's not bad. It's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty close. I mean, it may not have been exactly 15, but it's believable. Let's put it that way. It's believable enough. Okay. And this is gonna be a little tricky. Ugh, those are really uneven. That makes me think this was actually smaller. It's making me wonder if it was like a 10. Let's see. Well, maybe it might have been 10. Because that looks right. That looks like those. So that may have actually been a 10. The other one's fine. I don't have to go back and redo it. But And I, what I do need to do, though, is on this, I need to grab this. And this needs to be, let me make sure that's the right pen. This, this needs to be bigger. That does not look right. That looks right. 
If I fill that in, that's that will accomplish the illusion that that was always a thicker. See, see how it tapers? That's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to look somewhat right. I mean, it can't look just completely off. I'm gonna do the same thing here. This should have been like that. It's, it's all right. It's hard to do it with. It's it's hard to do this stuff after the fact. I mean, I'm basically creating something that wasn't there. So that's just a that's just a byproduct of how I'm doing this. Okay, so where are we? Okay, let's go to the mask. Let's go back to that taper pen. Let's start doing a little. I gotta be so easy going with this to make it look right. I mean, I'm not good at this. You know, I'm, yeah, I think I gotta go further in. Not that far though. Oh, give me a second. That could be somebody calling. One minute. Okay, whoever that was, I didn't even see the number come up. They hung up so quickly, so. I don't know if that was one of the people that's going to be showing up or not. So that phone may ring again in a second. That, that's often the case if somebody's never called before that's coming to do work. I will not be shocked if that phone rings again momentarily. You don't have to hear me talking. But I will need to answer it in case there's somebody saying, how do I get to where you are? I mean, I'm almost at an hour anyway. That's what I was planning to be at. So... Let's go backwards. I don't know. These are tricky. These are tricky. Because, I mean, like I said, I, I got to figure out how to make... See, those are all uneven. Those are no good at all. I've got to figure out how to make a taper brush the way I want to use it. I know there's a way to do it. There's got to be. Because people make some wild brushes. I've seen them. So I know there's a way to make it. I just have to figure out how to do it. Because, see, that's not... It's not even. That ba The bottom is too fat. Is is going back in. And I want it to be a smooth kind of curved taper, and it's not. It's fine for now because I don't have a better option. So I'm using what's available to me. It's fine. But it's definitely not ideal. So I've got to figure out how to make one because this is the built-in one. And while it's... What I want to be able to do, just so you have an idea, is I just want to be able to draw a line like this and have it just smooth taper top to bottom. And then I can get better curves and angles and all the rest of it. Right now, I'm not getting that. I don't have the control. I'm not getting the result I want. See? Because it, be, it shouldn't be this difficult to make a line. I shouldn't have to do this eight times. So, to, see, that's kind of what I want. Is that just to be the brush right there? But that's not what it is. So I've got, I've got to figure out how to make one of those. This is fine for now. Like I said, I don't have anything else. So I'm going to use what I got. But, um... It's not ideal. Okay. Like, I'm, I'm getting lucky with most of these. I'm not really doing this. I'm going to have to redo a bunch of them because some of them just don't come out. And there's really no rhyme or reason to it. It's not a pressure thing. I tried that. I can't quite work out why some of them don't work the way they should. See, it should not be... It's just not quite going the way it should i mean it's just it's there's not a consistency to it if there was i could get a rhythm to it and i could figure it out but there really isn't it's just kind of hit or miss so yeah uh let's see <sighs> you know what i can feel myself getting a little frustrated with the masking pen and since I have a feeling I'm going to get a call anyway from somebody who's probably going to be coming here to do work, I think this is a good point. Oh, and my thing just crashed. <laughs> so, you know what? I'll take that as a sign. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap up the stream here. Um, I may do a stream on uh, Wednesday, but I doubt it. If it works out, I will do it. Uh, but in any, in any event, this is still a good stream. Good amount of time. Got some stuff done on the on redoing the tentacle skull or whatever I'm calling it. I think I called it the blob hat skull last time. Well, it's not really that anymore because uh, the blob hat is missing, so I can't really call it that anymore. But in any event, um, hopefully you don't have to call any workmen for anything today. That will be my my wish to the audience. I hope you don't have to have anybody come and do any work in your home. 
have a trouble-free day. Like I said, I'm not complaining too much, but um, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna bring the stream to a close now because I'm getting close to when people should start, if you can. Or go watch another stream where somebody's drawing. Experiencing creativity is just as good as having it a lot of times. You can live vicariously through somebody else's creativity. That's good too. But whatever you do, have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever it is. Thank you for stopping by. Whether you're watching live or watching later, it doesn't make any difference to me. And we'll see you on the next stream. Might be Wednesday, might be next week. Just depends. In any event, thanks for stopping by and take care.